If you're at all part of the modern generation, you'll see this word spouted every other minute. But if you're at all out of the loop, woke is a term used to describe any person or media having an active awareness of injustices or imbalances towards any group. People who aren't really represented in media all that well. But uh, woke is a term that has been destroyed. If you were on YouTube during the 2010s, woke has become the new literally. A word so overused it has become a nothing word. And no other person has destroyed the word woke than Synthetic Man. Hello folks and welcome to Dystopian Discussions, the show where we take a critical lens to our modern society to discern if the media you're watching is good or bad for you. Synthetic Man is a critic who mainly points out the flaws with the modern media industry. A noble profession, I must say. But uh, in his case, any single person in a game or movie that is black or gay or a woman, he'll freak the fuck out, usually making the thumbnail say that whatever franchise it is, is dead. Now don't mistake me here. Synthetic Man is a YouTuber I've watched for a long time. I'm someone who enjoys hearing both sides of opinions. There are a lot of YouTubers who have inherent bias, but their opinions are fair and well-constructed. Shout out to Invertus Joe, especially Invertus Joe. I wish I had editing like his. There are a lot of YouTubers who have inherent bias, but their opinions are fair and well-constructed. I feel like if you can't handle watching something because they don't have the exact same opinion as you do, you gotta grow some thicker skin, I'm sorry. But I'm not saying that you should take that as Synthetic Man giving genuine criticism, because it's not. And the Queen was a, we'll say, Dark Elf. So despite the fact that the Gerudo are clearly supposed to be like the Middle Eastern inspired race, I guess you could say, but they might even be a different species than Highlands, I'm not sure. But no, now there's actually a lot of Highlands that are various shades of brown throughout the world. And of course, one of the founders of Hyrule set the stage for the entire series, created a wonderful Wakanda-esque utopia, is one of these brown Hylians. Almost literally, we was Kangs and shit. But it's important to understand and see different perspectives you may not be able to see as well. There are a lot of good YouTubers out there that can give you great examples of their perspective. Synthetic Man is not one of them. Which is a shame because I actually think he has the potential to be a really interesting critic. He's just so obsessed with pushing this message on his audience, even if it makes no sense. Like, for example, in his Spider-Man 2 review, which, you know, he called Spider-Man his dad or woke or whatever the thumbnail says. He'll make a super valid point, but then he'll just destroy it trying to <laughs> one-up the libtards. He'll make a great point by saying something along the lines of, I feel as if Miles was completely forced into the story, only sharing two cutscenes with Harry, but the writers expect us to feel a connection between these two? Giving Miles this heartfelt cinematic speech while fighting Harry makes no sense. That's some genuine, fair criticism that questions the mindset of the writer's intention. But then he'll ruin it by saying, Miles is the Black Messiah. But again, it just shows how toothless these writers are. They couldn't even kill Harry Osborn. This would have been the perfect moment to do it. But no, Miles has to be the Black Messiah, and he saves Harry, even though he might as well be functionally dead. What the, what the fuck are you talking about? And it sucks that he does this, because he can make some really great points about actual woke writing. And no, that doesn't mean I think every single thing that is inclusive or diverse is woke pain. Handering. I'm talking about the ham-fisted writing, like uh, the new Saints Row, for example. Rent. 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 The post-capitalist. Rent. The student loans. Carbon footprint. Things I do to pay my rent. I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. I sure love coming home from my dead-end job to hear characters bitch about rent and healthcare packages. And if these are things you want to commentate on in your story, that's perfectly fine. But for fuck's sake, have some restraint. You'll be hearing the rent and healthcare jokes like 15 times in the opening level. Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. So I should be reviewing the life insurance. Yeah! Shut up! Oh my god, I don't care! And not every case of woke pandering is as apparent as Saints Row is. Insomniac's also very guilty of this. No, I don't care that they had a boring mission where you play as a deaf girl or you help some guys go to homecoming. I'm talking about the things that aren't talked about as much. Uh, like, I don't know, the entire game trying to rewrite the Spanish language to be more inclusive. No, I'm not joking. No quiero que conozcas a Dr. Young, un importante entomólogo. <laughs> 
un importante modo que es wrong en Spanish. Entomóloga o entomólogo. Or maybe the multiple times where they use the wrong flag for one of the main characters' cultures. Kind of gonna be. Version of it. It's gonna be. That long. is a Cuban fucking flag, you stupid fucking idiots. Flag. Oh my god, you dumbasses. Hey, hi. I hope you're hungry. Fucking every Hispanic is the same, huh? Yes. Or just the fact when it comes to being ported to other countries, all this content is entirely removed. <laughs> now I can't confirm this, but I remember hearing when the first Spider-Man came to PC, someone made a mod removing all the pride flags from the game and uh, Nexus and Insomniac banned him immediately. But the guy didn't go in and change the textures or anything. He didn't like actually modify the game. He changed the region of purchase to the Middle East. Like I said, I can't confirm if this is true. I just remember reading it. I couldn't recover the article. But regardless, I still think this is a very common thing for media to do. People force diversity not because they actually care about making stories with different kinds of people and perspectives, but instead they think that they'll get some extra ticket sales. Which leads me into my main reason for making this video. Synthetic Man's Fallout Shell Review. And before you say anything, no, I'm not the biggest Fallout fan. I played Fallout 4 and I'm sitting on New Vegas till I get the time to play it. But unlike Synthetic Man, I actually watched the entire show before giving opinions on it. This guy watched one episode, spat out some reviews so it would be at the top of the recommendations, and is blocking anyone who calls him out on it. Probably because most of his issues are resolved after the first episode. If he just got some of the facts wrong, I wouldn't be making a video about this. It's just, throughout the entirety of his review, he's just extremely rude to anyone who isn't a straight white male. And so the members of Vault 33 meet up with the members of Vault 32, and we find out her soon-to-be husband is actually a white guy and not ugly. Shocking. But don't worry, they ruin that pretty shortly. We see that the Latina overseer is the real villain of the show. Yes, this middle-aged brown woman is supposed to be this mega badass evil raider we're supposed to be intimidated by. Now we get to meet our final main character, Maximus, and it's another pussy-ass black guy. You know, it's one thing that every single TV show, movie, and now video game has a diverse cast, but do you have to have every black man be a fucking pussy in modern media? What are you talking about? It's the beginning of his arc. His arc throughout the show is that he learns to be stronger and fend for himself. And sure, he doesn't always do it in the healthiest or best way possible, but, you know, he's learning to survive in the wasteland. And it also helps with his arc of learning that he doesn't want to stay with the Brotherhood. And he gets saved by a trans man. I'm not joking, dude. There's probably gonna be some coping and seething, but no, that is not a tomboy. That is not a masculine female. No, that is a woman who identifies as a man. And yeah, I mean, this show is woke as fuck. It's diverse as hell. It's an obvious female empowerment story. That's really the most annoying thing of all. Lucy is an obvious Mary Sue. It's revealed in episode seven, she's been an offspring for selective breeding in her vault, meaning she would be better at most skills than other normal surface dwellers. In the next scene, Maximus and the girl boy sneak away and look at some power armor, and we learn some of the initiates have been chosen to be squires, and of course, Maximus doesn't get chosen, but the girl boy does. And so the next morning, as G.I. Jane puts on her boots, but the fat black soy jack on the council is too chicken shit. Next scene, we get back to Maximus, and he cries like a little baby bitch as the scribe interrogates him, accusing him of something he didn't do, and taking the she-man's place. Then we get a scene where She-Man doesn't blame him because she knows he would never do it because, again, he's a little bitch boy who would never do anything wrong. Hey, dude, I understand you don't agree on certain politics, but that doesn't mean you're allowed to be an asshole to the actors just doing their job. It's extremely distasteful, and I can't fathom why someone would talk like this and then get shocked that they're receiving hate comments. 
Constantly insulting a transgender person solely because they're transgender and they're part of the show is going to warrant some hate. You are not making a single valid point as to why it feels forced or diverse. It's literally just a character who happens to be trans. And they're in the show for like 10 minutes. They're not even in, they're in episode one and episode eight. He com he's com make his biggest, one of his biggest complaints in this 20 minute video is that they force diverse people down your throat when they're not even in the show for more than two or three episodes after episode one. It's called setup. You need to watch the rest of the show, you moron. As I said earlier, Synthetic Man loves to force politics into every molecule of something he's reviewing. And I want you to look at this clip and tell me if this sounds like a review of a fucking Fallout show. And now he just does birthday parties for alimony payments. And I find this even more funny because his kid is mixed race. So his black wife divorced him and now he plays fucking birthday parties. How black pilling is that? And at the risk of getting a shit ton of dislikes from normies, just like my review of the first episode of The Last of Us, I find this even more funny because if you know anything about marriage statistics, you would know that white male black female actually has the lowest divorce rates. So in a way, you could almost say this is anti-propaganda, but I still think it's promoting race mixing. Who the fuck? Who is it? What? I should kick your fucking ass. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? You're reviewing the Fallout show, not an episode of Judge Judy. Two people who have different skin tones can get married and they can get divorced. Statistics has nothing to do with it. It's just part of the story. Her being black does not affect the story. She could be fucking purple. It has no impact on the story. You do not need to throw in these fucking statistics for no reason. It adds nothing. When it comes to pushing his ideology, even though it's more like a conspiracy theory, he constantly inflates his points with wrong info to make it seem like something more woke than it is. And to dip into the schizo paint a little bit, the king being a goat man, is borderline satanic imagery. This is a result of a certain cult organization that are subtly inserting their propaganda into video games. There's all sorts of little nuggets of wokeness. Paya now having a giant brown boyfriend who looks like a Giga Chad in comparison to Link. Not to mention the quote unquote subtle homosexual imagery from Breath of the Wild. And I already know people are going to say I'm reading into it and no kid's going to see this shit. But that's exactly how you desensitize people and how you groom them, right? You expose them to things. The vow that each of the new sages takes to Link looks like they're proposing to him. And Sidon, the giant shark guy, people already made a bunch of gay lewd images between him and Link when Breath of the Wild came out. Well now, him quite literally putting a ring on his finger, Link was already cross-dresser before this game. And Riju's a Gerudo, and if you've seen any of their Rule 34, you know they're usually sporting a little something extra. Come. That's why I'm gonna- <laughs> That's why I'm going doing your bussy tonight, Link. Though obviously that's not canon, but you get the point, man. Every character that vows to him might as well be male, figuratively. Now honestly, I don't actually believe that, but it is weird enough to be eyebrow racing. Certainly worth making fun of, at the very least. And perhaps more importantly than this- Ah uh, yes, I remember when I proposed to my gay lover by bumping my fist against his. As I said in the beginning, perspective is so important to the job of a critic. You need to be able to step out of your own shoes and realize any weakness you have. But Synthetic Man is unable to do that. Instead of making genuine criticisms of a growing problem in the media industry, forcing diversity when they don't actually care about it, and actually making interesting characters who happen to be in minority groups, he uses his platform to push a narrative of anyone being different than him is forced and pandering. Synthetic Man is an extremist first and a critic fifth. He'd rather belittle, insult, and demean any project rather than give it a leg to stand on. So Synthetic Man, I hope you try and take a step back. Try to look at the things you review in a more logical and fair way rather than emotional. And for the love of God, stop saying woke so much.